Today in cannabis news, within a newly proposed Michigan State bill, cannabis licensure could not be rejected solely on a person's moral character or prior cannabis convictions. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders speaks on progress toward federal cannabis legalization and eliminating the war on drugs. And astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson claims that President Joe Biden rejects cannabis legalization because they are a member of the reefer madness generation. It's Wednesday, September 8th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, within a recently submitted state Senate proposal, cannabis authorities in Michigan would no longer be able to refuse an individual a medical cannabis permit due on their moral character and reputation or previous cannabis convictions. It also includes language indicating that those who have been convicted of cannabis-related felonies or misdemeanors are not instantly barred from joining the industry. Last week, State Senator Jeff Irwin proposed the bill, as well as another one that would allow the possession and production of some psychedelics. The proposal's goal is to streamline licensure policies for the state's recreational and medical markets. There is no restrictive wording regarding moral character or past cannabis convictions for licensing candidates within the recreational legalization bill, but it does appear in the medicinal cannabis legislation. In an interview, Irwin claimed that the subjectivity in the moral character measure invites unequal application of the law, favoritism, and corruption. Next up, U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders believes Congress is making progress in stopping the failed war on drugs and federally legalizing cannabis, and that additional states are helping by doing so in the meanwhile. An attendee claimed they were planning to present Senator Sanders with the same query they asked two years prior regarding when Congress will end the racist, idiotic drug war during a town hall forum centered on Democrats' large-scale budget proposal last week. I'm happy to give you a better answer than I gave it two years ago in the sense that I think we're making progress, the Senate Budget Committee chairperson answered. When questioned about the possibility of enacting legislation to increase the federal minimum wage, Sanders mentioned cannabis again. Many moderate Democrats in the Senate have indicated they would oppose the shift in policy, though Sanders said they think about the matter in the same way they think about cannabis reforms. The good news is that state after state is in fact passing $15 an hour legislation, said Sanders. A number of states have done it. A number of cities have done it. We're making progress in the same sense that we're making progress of legalizing marijuana. Last up, astrophysicist and media host Neil deGrasse Tyson invited Harvard University neuroscientist Stacy Guber to discuss the connection between cannabis science, politics, and athletics on a recent edition of their podcast, Star Talk. They examine why sports organizations have primarily chosen to prohibit cannabis consumption, which, for instance, resulted in the vastly condemned Olympic disqualification of U.S. sprinter Shikari Richardson this summer. Although President Joe Biden has underlined the importance of following the science when it comes to COVID-19, the same cannot be said for their cannabis policy stance, according to Star Talk co-host Chuck Nice. The president is still resistant to cannabis becoming legalized on a federal level. That's because he's the reefer madness generation. That's why, Tyson replied. Despite its long history of medicinal use in the U.S., cannabis was outlawed and stigmatized during a time of frenzy sparked by the 1936 propaganda film Reefer Madness, during which the country, according to Gruber, really fell under this spell that cannabis was deadly and merited prohibition. President Biden was born six years following the cannabis propagandist film being released. Activists are still disappointed that Biden hasn't fully evolved on the subject, especially considering the Democrat Party's strong backing for eliminating prohibition. To their part, when it comes to athletics and cannabis, Biden did suggest in July that the regulations prohibiting Olympic competitors from competing if they use cannabis should be reconsidered. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcast. 
For Trichomes.com, I'm Devin Leal. And I'm RJ Balde, signing off.